Next question is, uh, is buying the right padding important for under your carpet? Oh, certainly. Yeah, because you got to imagine that carpet is a soft surface, of course, right? It's soft, it's, it's, you walk on it, it's cushiony. But underneath there, you have a um, backing that holds all those fibers together. So the backing is here, it's glued together with all these loose fibers like this. And if you don't have a pad up underneath there, these loose fibers are pushed down right onto the subfloor. The subfloor is usually wood or concrete, one of those two surfaces. It could be Dura Rock or um, some other type of commercial um, system too. But typically it's going to be concrete or, or wood. And if you don't have the proper kind of cushion underneath your carpeting, what will happen is that shock absorbance is gone. And the fibers are directly contacting each other, especially the taller nap. Now if you have a commercial glue down, a lot of them don't have a carpet pad underneath there because, you know, the, they're looped, the fibers are really short, and there's really no way for them to easily move around and scratch each other. But if you have a taller, say, t uh, a tufted style, or a, you know, um, say Saxony, or some sort of longer fiber, then they have a tendency to move around onto each other. And without that shock absorbance of a good pad, then they'll start scratching each other. They'll lay down and soon you'll see this this traffic lane that isn't dirt. It's it's actually because the fibers have been beating each other up from you walking on it and uh, use. So as far as quality goes, um, every carpet has a a recommended type of pad. Now there's two, there's actually several kinds. Um, there's a rubber backed there's what's called um, rebond, which is a bunch of foam that's all cut up and glued together. And then in rebond, they have several different styles there too. Uh, they have, you know, different ounces. They have uh, generally the the higher the poundage, the denser that pad is. Now, if you get it too dense, if that pad is too dense and you walk on it, it may feel like you're walking on a very hard floor bef uh, underneath it, an eight pound rebound for instance with a very light carpet on top of it is you're going to feel that it's going to feel like it's kind of hard underneath there so you may want to go with something like a six pound but if you talk to the carpet retailer ask them about the recommended pad for that particular install and it really does make a difference some of the berbers they require a what's what we call a waffle pad it's got little waffles underneath like this you know they're all like cupped and they don't recommend a rebound on a lot of the Berbers out there because they, well, they're a longer surface that's looped over and if they don't have the right shock absorbance they'll really start to scratch each other. Well those waffle pads help even more on, on the subfloor surface to protect it from hitting each other. So with all that said it's best to find out from your carpet retailer the best pad for your install.